All right, so I'll do a quick walkthrough of what this plugin all does and uh, what it can all do for you. So this is the main page that you uh, land on once you install it and you upgrade it to the Elite version, as you can see that I have done. And then the uh, next thing we would do normally is we would go and create a campaign. But before we do that, I'll show you the list of URLs that it generates these backlinks on. So let me just click on a URL list here. Here we are. There's a whole list of them. I quickly did a count. There's over 500 URLs in there. Most of these sites have high page rank, are on age domain names, or they are .edu or .gov sites. And I'll just quickly show you approximately how many. Just type that in here. Here we go. As you can see right here on top, there is 66.gov domain names in there. Very, very powerful stuff. So what I'll do now, I'll show you how many that you domain names are in there. And there's only about seven of those. A very, very powerful sites that it generates these backlinks on. So there you have it. Uh, you get an idea of just how powerful this WordPress plugin really is. And just imagine if each one of your blog posts had all of these 500 sites linking to them. Very, very powerful stuff. So next what I'll show you, I'll show you how simple it is to set up a campaign. So here we are, and let me just quickly type in demo123. And then for the URL, let me just quickly type in just a random domain name, mine, old ones. Just quickly click on find meta info. And what the plugin does, it goes and finds the meta information from the URL that I entered up here. As you can see, it auto, auto populated the description for the URL as well as the keyword list. Now, of course, you can go through it and manually edit this yourself or not use the meta info at all and just manually write everything yourself. Okay, but just for the sake of this demonstration, that's what I'll use. And then for category, I'll select business and then uh, links per RSS feed. Uh, we'll leave it at 15 uh, links every day. Uh, update frequency every day. Uh, users have the option of editing the, the filler content that is used to generate the RSS feed with later on, but uh, we're not going to mess with that. We're just going to leave that, and close that, we'll click create campaign. And as you can see, if I hadn't done so much talking, I could have created a whole campaign in less than 30 seconds. Okay, and now what we will do is click on manage campaigns. And as you can see, the campaign I just created is visible right here. And it shows you the date that it was created and it shows you the campaign name. So it's very easy for you to manage the campaign from here. You can click on edit campaign where you go in, you can edit uh, every aspect of the campaign. You can even delete it from here. Here is the RSS feed. So basically what happens, all the backlinks that get generated randomly appear in this RSS feed. So what you want to do is you want to submit this RSS feed to ping sites, ping feed aggregator sites to get the search engines to crawl this feed. And that way getting your backlinks crawled and indexed by the search engines, okay? So next we have the list of backlinks that were generated for you. We have a spreadsheet report. You could even provide this as a service for someone else and charge them, you know, big bucks to have these backlinks generated. And then all you would do is just, like I showed you in 30 seconds, generate a campaign and then send them a report. It can be either a spreadsheet or a PDF, whichever, it's up to you. Or you can just simply use it for your own record keeping. Okay, uh, with a click of a button, you can share it on your Twitter account if you so choose to do so. Same with Facebook or Google Plus. And if you want, you can ping it through Pingomatic by just clicking this button right here. Okay, let me just quickly do that. As you can see, it has been pinged. I should also add, when you create a campaign, it automatically pings it to Pingomatic the second that the campaign is created. So all in all, this is very, very automated, super easy to use, and extremely powerful. But let me show you another feature. Let's click on Create a New Post. And let me just quickly type in Demo here. Demo Post, and we'll just select one category there. Just randomly add some keywords, money, cash, make money. This is a throwaway domain name that I use for testing, so I'm not too worried. We'll just, I'll just use those three keywords, click add, and I will 
scroll back up here and as you can see I have the option of auto creating a Samsung campaign that will promote this new blog post that I'm making okay and it is selected on yes and I'll show you later on how you can by default turn it off but right now we'll just leave it at yes and we'll click publish okay so our post has been published let's go back to our Samsung plugin let's click on manage and as you can see the demo post we just made generated a Samsung campaign very cool very powerful uh, especially if you're an auto blogger you will absolutely love this feature because you, again you can set it up you can forget about it and it's extremely powerful it's unlike anything I've ever seen being sold online ever before but let's go through some of the other features and just show you some of the other options that you have here okay this here is the category page uh, you can add your own categories but I really don't think there's a need for it these categories that are in here are hooked up with Pingler I will show you later on how you can hook Pingler up with this plugin so that each campaign's feed, so each campaign that you create, the feed is taken and is get submitted via API to Pingler. And these categories are hooked up with Pingler categories. And just as a side note, if you do add your own categories here, they would not be hooked up with Pingler. Or if you were to delete any of these and you would select it later on, it would make the submission to Pingler as a generic category. Very straightforward, again, really not something you have to worry about, but you have the option of editing it here if you choose to do so for your own record keeping. And now let's quickly click on the RSS filler text here. Again, this is something you do not have to change or mess with, but you do have the option of editing this filler text if you so choose to do so. It recognizes randomizer syntax, so if you want to spin the content that's in here, you have the option of doing so. The plugin does recognize that. Okay. Same goes for the title as well as the RSS feed descriptions. But again, because it's just filler content, you do not have to worry about this. Next, let's click on plugin settings. From here, you can enable it so that each time a unique visitor, a 24 hour unique visitor, lands on your website, that they trigger a feed to get pinged from a randomly selected campaign. In this case, I'll just leave it at off. But again, it's 24-hour unique IP addresses that it uses, so it's very powerful, and it's a good way to get the search engines to crawl all your feeds without ever coming across as spammy. Because again, it uses unique IP addresses. Okay, but you do have the option of turning it off. In that case, we'll just leave it to turn off here, and then it won't be triggering that when a unique visitor lands on your site. Okay, so the next thing we have is the auto create campaign from each new post that we make. As I was showing you earlier, it is turned on to yes. It will auto create them by default. Uh, works great for auto blogs as well as manual blogging. But again, you have the option of turning it off if you so choose to do so. Another cool feature that I built in is that the plugin will automatically submit each of the sites that it generates your backlinks on. It will submit those to Linklicious if you set up your API key right here. So if you have an account with Linklicious, which is an indexing service, uh, you can click here to get it. All you do is you paste in your API key right here, and then uh, every time you create a new campaign, it will automatically submit all those newly generated URLs to your Linklicious account to help each of those URLs get indexed by the search engines. So again, super cool little feature right there. Next, we have the Pingler API key section where you can paste in your Pingler API key. And what that will do is every time you create a new campaign in Samson, it takes the RSS feed from that campaign and submits it to your Pingler account. You will need an upgraded premium account with Pingler for this feature to work, but it's only a couple bucks a month, so it might be a worthwhile investment. It is not something that you have to have or have to do. You simply have the option of doing so if you choose to do so. Next, you have the option of entering your only wire credentials, and then every time just like with the previous ones here, every time you create a new campaign, the RSS feed gets submitted to your OnlyWire account. This is, again is to encourage search engines to crawl your RSS feed and with that crawl your backlinks in hopes to get them indexed. Again, this is not mandatory. You don't have to, to do this, but you do have the option of doing so if you choose to do so. Next, you have the option of entering your Bitly username and API key. 
And what that will do, it will shorten your RSS feed URL using Bitly so that you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you choose to do so. It's not required, but again, you have the option of using it if you so choose to do so. So as you can see, this whole thing, this whole page here is meant to automate the entire plugin to an extent where you never ever have to worry about it again once you get it all set up. I originally made this plugin for my own use, so my whole mission, my whole purpose is to automate as much as I humanly possibly can. And I'm also constantly adding new features, so what you're seeing right now is just the beginning of this Samson WordPress plugin. Moving on, I have one more page here. I haven't added anything yet, but I will in the future add cool training videos and uh, SEO tricks and case studies onto this page here as well. But again, it's only available to the elite members. Okay, so as you can see, all in all, a very cool, very powerful WordPress plugin. It is panda proof and it's so easy to use, you'd be foolish not to use it. Thank you so much for watching this short little video. I hope you enjoy this plugin as much as I do.